the simple. What will often happen with these types of people, not in every case for sure, but what oftentimes will happen is that people will try to cause divisions and split people up. It says with good words and fair speeches. So they're going to they're gonna use you know, persuasion of good words and telling you things that are going to sound good to your ears, but aren't true. See, oftentimes the truth hurts. Oftentimes you're going to hear things preached from the Bible that people don't want to hear. But it's true. We have a lot of established doctrines that we believe in this church that the world is going to reject. The world's going to say we're hateful. The world's going to say that, you know, you shouldn't believe that, that you're wrong and, and whatever. And that's fine. The world can believe whatever. The world's going to believe what they're going to want to believe because the world is, is of the world, not of the Father. And you expect that. But that's out in the world that should not be happening within church. And if you know someone that is especially prone to causing problems, like I said, you can, you know, I'm fine. People have discussions. You love the Bible. You talk about the Bible. You see things differently. You can, you can talk to each other. Fine. Fine, that's great. I encourage it. I think that's I think that's great for people to be talking about Bible and you're excited about it and you learn about it. But there's a difference between having that difference of opinion, someone coming up to you and just trying to teach you something, you know, coming up to you and trying to, to cause problems and teaching doctrine that's contrary to what you know the church believes. This has already happened in other like-minded churches. It's been happening all throughout history. It's going to continue to happen. There's going to be people that come in with an evil intent. intent. They're going to look like they're, oh, I'm just, I'm just being, um, you know, they're going to try to appear to be harmless. And they're going to try to play the, the sympathy card. And, oh, no, uh, you know, you're just, you're seeing something that's not really there or whatever. But when people come in and try to teach you doctrine that's contrary, they are coming in to, to, to cause division and they need to be marked and avoided. So those are the types of people. That's one instance. Turn if you would to Titus chapter three of people that we need to break fellowship with. Now, oftentimes you'll see a characteristic of people too, where you can have these red flags pop up. And when you see someone who's continually on the wrong side of issues. And what I mean by that, that meaning that the type of people that, that want to be so loving that they're more loving than Jesus Christ himself, that they're more loving than God's commandments and they're more loving than, than what the Bible actually says, watch out for people like that. People are always want to sympathizing with the most wicked people in the world and just want to take it easy on everybody. Watch out for those people. Because they're probably not, they're definitely not established in their faith. And they may be unsaved in, in, in just trying to cause problems anyway. So there's people that pop up like that, it seems like, on a regular basis.